here with the very handsome Brandon Lee and also the recipient of our Courageous Award tonight at the 2023 Brainiac Bash. Congratulations, that's awesome. Oh, thank you, and I can say that this is awkward. The roles are reversed. I held the microphone for like 22 years as a news anchor, so nice. it's a little awkward being interviewed. But uh, yeah, it's a great night. I'm super grateful to be here and, and just blessed to be connected with Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona. Now, I spoke to somebody else who's a brain injury survivor, and they first said that their art was what has what has gotten them through it. I feel like you're that guy too. <laughs> it is, you know, art was introduced to me after I, I suffered a relapse, my first relapse in recovery back in 2020. And that took me to a really dark place. And so, I mean, I even suffered suicidal ideation after that relapse. And so I began to do a lot of inner child healing work. And part of that healing work was being introduced to art as a form of therapy. Nice. And uh, it was just months after that I had a vision and a dream to leave news, a career of which I had of 22 years to open up an art healing studio for trauma survivors like myself, uh, to give them the gift of art and the way art has helped me heal from my trauma. And months later, that became the birth of Art of Our Soul. Now, Art of Our Soul is here in Phoenix, but is it? do you have other locations for that? Um, no, but I don't mind announcing right now, uh, we are gonna be expanding nationwide here in 2023. I'm a little early yeah, then with yeah, the question. No, yeah. you are, which is great. Um, we're really proud of the way it's done. And I think over the past 14 months to see the impact our fairly innovative approach to art therapy has had an impact on so many people that uh, we're now going to be teaming up with large behavioral health clinics and hospitals around the country so that they can provide those same services to the patients that they see. Fabulous. And hey, and the art's good too. Yeah, Let's no, not we, forget about that. We set it up yeah. so we set it up for success for anybody. And I and I always hear when people walk into the art studio like Brandon, you know, I'm not an artist, I'm not good at this. And I said, hey, give me one hour and I promise you we'll make you an artist. Yeah. Anyone ex that you're very excited to see here tonight? Ooh, um, well, I, I was just told that there's some WWE folks in the house tonight. There it is, there <laughs> so, is. Uh, so that I'm kind of interested in, I mean, maybe meet those folks. But um, you know what, I, I always say, you know, um, when they offered me the award and told me they wanted to honor me, I actually turned it down at first. Um, and I told them, you know, I've been in the spotlight for 22 years, uh, you know, as a journalist and had received a lot of recognition. I'd always had the spotlight on me, and so I turned them down. Uh, and then they came back to me about a week later and said, no, really. And, uh, and I said, you know, I would rather put the spotlight on other folks who don't often get the spotlight on them. So to be quite honest with you, it's the humbling stories of the, of the everyday folks that you meet at these things who've suffered a lot of trauma and they're healing from it. And to me, those people deserve the spotlight. And, and those are the people I really like to meet. Well, hey, you accepting this award in so many ways, you're accepting on behalf of everybody who has gone through something and come out the other end. So thank you and congratulations again. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Honored to be here. Awesome. I am here with Bridget, who is a, an incredible photographer and also a brain injury survivor. Bridget, could you give people a little background to your story who may not be aware? Yeah, so I am a brain injury survivor. I had a stroke, which is an acquired brain injury at the age of 25. Um, after getting out of the hospital, I realized that my brain wasn't really working. Is that weird that I'm looking at the camera? I'm so sorry. Is that weird? No, you can I was looking at it the whole time. You can look time. there. You can look here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm like, oh. All good. Okay. No, you're Where perfect. was I? Oh, my God, I'm bored. Uh, at 25, you okay. had a stroke. Yeah, so 25, I had a stroke. Once I got out of the hospital, I realized that my brain wasn't really working like it once was. And I was also pregnant when I had my stroke as well. So... I had an 18-month-old daughter at home. I was pregnant with my second baby, and coming home, I realized how fast the moments were going by, and I figured out how to use my camera, and I just started taking pictures, and I became obsessed with it because it really is so amazing to just like be able to freeze time with just one little, one little instrument. It's, it's insane to me that it exists. It's, how, how does it feel right now to be in front of the camera instead of it? It feels it? very weird. I'm definitely not used to it. It's very weird. It's well, strange. Well, we have a lot of survivors here tonight at the Brainiac Bash. What would you say to somebody who is just starting their journey after an incredibly unfortunate accident? Be patient with yourself, especially with brain injuries. One of the best pieces of advice that somebody gave me was brain injury recovery is not measured within weeks or even months, but most of the time years. And I just remember being so frustrated in the beginning because I wasn't, I wasn't where I was yeah. before. And I would get so frustrated that the smallest things were so hard for me. Yeah. 
but I didn't I didn't realize how long the recovery process really is and I was so hard on myself in the beginning and I wish that I wouldn't have been yeah I bet that will resonate with a lot of people yeah. now we're also here to have a lot of fun tonight there's a dancing competition then there's probably dancing afterwards are we gonna be see you dancing at all oh, definitely oh, I'm, I'm a dancer. Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, are yeah, yeah. you know I'm everyone else is coming up here going I don't know if I want to dance oh, no, I don't know no, if I want to no, okay, yeah I was telling him yeah all right, so what song gets you out there and going oh my god the Macarena the Macarena number one we gotta do it because everybody knows it it's a classic yeah Anyone can do the Macarena. All right, well, maybe you can be out there to show us all how, yes, how yes, it's yes, done. Yes, yes, awesome. yes. All right, fantastic, Bridget. Thank, thank you. you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. I'm here with Brian Danielson, the recipient of the Courageous Athlete Award. How did you first get involved in the Brainiac Bash? Uh, it's mostly because of my wife's uh, mother. And so she had uh, some issues, and then she introduced me to the whole thing. Yeah. And how does it feel to play a supportive wife this evening? Oh my gosh, I love it. Last year I was a supportive daughter, this year I get to be a supportive wife, so it feels good. Nice. Now, we've all been impacted in one way or another by brain injury, brain disease, brain health. What personally does it mean for you guys to be here tonight supporting in 2023? Well, so I just think it's, it's wonderful to support uh, the Brain Injury Alliance because people with brain injuries need support and they need help and they need honest feedback as far as what they should be doing. I, when I first got concussions, I had no idea what to do. There was no awareness around it and bringing awareness to some of these things and especially for, for me, like as a younger athlete, I just didn't know. Yeah. And so spreading awareness to me is one of the most important things we can do, and especially in regard to the concussions and that sort of thing. Well, I really appreciate the athletes that come forward and uh, get vulnerable with us because I, especially among men sometimes, I feel like we want to be tough, we, nothing's wrong with us, we're super tough. So for you to be a beacon of hope in so many ways for young men, uh, I think that's just really great. I see you nodding your head over here. What are your thoughts? No, I agree. I think sometimes we think courage means not to say anything, that being brave Brave means like keeping it all in and it's the opposite so it's a beautiful thing when you have these athletes that are high profile in the public eye and they actually admit to concussions not feeling good needing yeah. help and I think that's a very courageous thing but I would also like to say one thing that it's hard for men to do that if they don't have support at home and so Bree was actually the one who was like, hey, uh, at one of my concussions, you need to tell the doctor what's actually going on. Because I was I was scared. I was like, is my career gonna be taken away from me? Is this gonna, like all that kind of stuff. And she, having somebody that's that supportive and reminds you what's most important yeah. is, uh, is you can't put put a price on that. Well, hey, in the game, you're a beast. Outside of the game, in this game of life, you're a beast. And I'm just glad you're here and we can honor you. So oh, thank, thank you. you very much. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. I'm here with Cameron Parker, who is lacking no energy this evening. Cameron, what a delightful Happy introduction. New Happy New Year. What brings you to Brainiac Bash? Oh, Letitia, Fry, and Angie, no, who's dancing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, we got the whole squad here tonight. Yeah, it is a ladies' night. They're out strong. Letitia's receiving an amazing award. Angie will be, I'm assuming, dancing her uh, little feet off. Her, she'll be ta you know, shaking her tail feather like we all want to. Yeah. Now, is this your first Brainiac Bash? It is, it is, and Brain Injury Alliance is very, very important to me. I am I have MS, and so we do a lot of parallel things mm -hmm. with the National MS Society and Brain Injury um, uh, Alliance. It's very important work that, yeah. that we're doing here, and especially to honor Letitia tonight. She's yeah. incredible. Yeah, her story, I, I've said it too many times by this point in the night, but it's so inspiring. Yeah. What would you say to people who are going through the very beginning stages of a journey through health? Wow, that is a powerful question, but I do have an amazing answer. Right. Never, ever, ever give up. The reason being is you have to get up unless you give up. You have to get up. Never give up because that chance, if you don't try, that chance is gone. Yeah. And it can't rain every single day. It'll be a little cloudy. And then the sun's going to happen. It is not a marathon. Honey, you want to stroll like you're shopping and take it all in. But I'm just, I'm very passionate about it and saying never, never, never give up. You have to get up. Yeah. And we can't hear it enough. 
you know, oh. say it again and again because we can't oh, hear I'll write it enough. Like yeah. <laughs> oh man, I think I honestly, I think Cameron should have a table, and then you get to pay to sit with her at these events. You guys would raise so much money. Oh my gosh, and then some, and we're <laughs> always thirsty. <laughs> Awesome, Gary, congratulations Thank for being you. here. Thank You're so you. great. Well, if you like exceptionally crafted cocktails or perfectly planned menus, this is the guy. Chef Marcus Ford is here at the Brainiac Bash. Chef Marcus, pleasure to see you. And look, full disclosure, we know each other outside of this. Come on. Yeah, come I mean, on. this is not our first time meeting. But this is your second Brainiac Bash, is it's that right? It's my second Brainiac Bash. Awesome. I was uh, brought into it last year by Miss Carrie Martz. Yeah. Phenomenal individual, very philanthropic. You know, she said jump, and I didn't ask how high, I just started jumping. Yeah. And uh, that brought me into the mix. And so when I found out Letitia was being honored this year, she's everyone's favorite auction trainer. So I couldn't say no. No, and we're glad you said yes. In addition to Carrie and Letitia, are there any events, maybe the dancing that you're excited to see tonight? I don't know who's dancing tonight. So that's going to be a complete surprise. Wait, is it you? Uh, no. Oh my gosh, no, I'm not dancing. I I'll bid for that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, it is so great that you're here doing all this support. Have you ever been impacted by brain injury? Not even personally, but in your life? I mean, as someone who was in a really bad car accident last year, just about six months ago, I mean, just the x rays and the medical care and the, the billing. It's, I mean, the, the bills alone can be traumatic. Yeah. So if we can do any small thing when it comes to fundraising to help those who are who need the services, yeah. I'm all here for it. Yeah. And Chef Marcus has been around the, uh, the Scottsdale Phoenix fundraising charity scene. He's constantly donating his time and his services. I just want to say thank you because you are truly a professional and we're honored to get you in any capacity we can. Thank you so much. I'm ready to have a good time. What about you? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good time. All right, bye. I'm here with last year's Courageous Veteran Award recipient, John Hancock. John, it's lovely to see you Great again. To see you again brother. Um, I know you are presenting on stage tonight. What else are you excited for? Well, honestly, uh, just everything that's happened over the past year uh, and my association with uh, Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona and then everything that I'm doing in my own nonprofit worlds, uh, everything really just started to spike after last year. Uh, I, I got to see a massive uptick in uh, veteran involvement uh, across Arizona. It's just something I'm very interested in, and uh, it's something that wouldn't have been done without Brain Injury Alliance. So, now, in case people don't know, what is the name of your nonprofit? Oh, it's called Bastards Road Project, right. which is in reference to the film Bastards Road. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, by the way. I've watched it. Very good. Yeah. Now, there's going to be some dancing this year, as there was last year. Sure, there is. Yeah. Uh, I am not doing that. So maybe get, uh, get out. maybe next year. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Would you ever dance? No, probably not, man. I mean, yeah, we do a couple of classes that at would tequila. Be courageous. And it would be super courageous. Yeah. And we'll have to do it with liquid courage. Yeah, yeah, no problems there. So uh, Missy is uh, the uh, Veteran Award winner yeah. this year. Right. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to attend tonight, but what do you have to say on that? Um, honestly, I think one of the greatest things about um, this type of award and recognizing another veteran is being able to pass the, you know, hold the mantle and pass the torch. Yeah. Uh, and being able to give and, uh, and receive that and see that uh, and see that, that that torch will be carried on, a veteran will continue to do well and thrive, and that not only that, but this nonprofit aims and strives to help veterans yeah. uh, and put them in positions to help each other. Yeah. Uh, and they do that through a myriad of ways that you guys are all just very familiar with, and so have I. Yeah, uh, right. But it, just ultimately to see, uh, to see a very strong woman who is very deserving of this award be here, uh, and, ex or, and I'll have to accept on her behalf, sure. but uh, it's, it'll be pretty damn amazing. Awesome, well, it's incredible that you have given so much service to the country and you still continue to give service to people now all over the world. Sure. So thank you for being here no and thank you for everything that you're doing. Hey man, thanks Kyle, awesome. thanks so much man. Thanks. Cheers. Well, it cannot be done without this woman. Catherine Pigeon is here, the invent chair for this year's Brainiac Bash. You know, I was just telling you before we just started this interview, when I got here early to do the mic checks and the sound checks, I heard your name over and over and over again and it was almost always followed with some version of how great is she? And aren't we so lucky to have her? And isn't she a genuine good soul? What does that mean to have all of the work that you guys done culminate on this one day? Uh, first of all, thank you. That was so kind of you. Um, you know, events are just so special because you get to this point and you see the fruits of your labor. Um, we're here for such an amazing cause. This organization uh, is incredible. I didn't even know who they were a year ago. Mm. A year ago tonight was their first annual and obviously um, I got the bug because here I am sharing it. <laughs> 
they got you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I couldn't be happier. Um, yeah. The people that I've worked with at the organization are kind and considerate and fun, and it's just been a wonderful labor of love. Mm, yeah, well, you can tell that there's a lot of love in the room tonight and a lot of excitement because we have dancing, we have it live entertainment. Is there anyone specific you're very excited to see? Um, in terms of the dancers? Oh, well, in terms of anything, but I mean the dancers, yeah. Well, the dancers I know are going to be incredible. I would not want to be in their shoes. This is a lot of work, a lot of practice, and I, my heart goes out to them that they agreed to do this, all for the, for the good of charity. Yeah. Um, our judges are so much fun. Um, of course, we have John Jay in the house, and um, he's hysterical, yeah. if you've heard him on the radio. And Lynn Sue uh, Flood is just, yeah, a doll. And Dina Shacknai yeah. was our original co-chair. So you couldn't have better judges, but I think they're going to spice it up a little bit, and I think they're going to make us laugh. Oh, good. I love spice. I love laugh. Now, the message here is is a big one. It is about brain health, and not only the awareness of that, but the fact that it is something we all have in common. What type of message would you like our listeners and viewers to hear from you as it relates to Brainiac Bash? Sure. Um, well, as I said a year ago, I had never been to this event. Of course, it didn't exist, but I didn't know the organization. And I was um, just brought to tears mm -hmm. by the four courageous individuals that were honored last year. And we have equally amazing individuals tonight that we're honoring. Um, it brings home to you that uh, in a blink of an eye, your life can change dramatically. Um, I am a survivor of lymphoma. I have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, so I've walked the cancer walk. But I was so focused on cancer and surviving mine, I never thought about brain injury. And now, my brain has been exposed to all of the things that can happen, from strokes to car accidents to trauma to suicide, veterans, police officers. Um, this brain injury uh, condition does not discriminate. And so I'm very glad that I've learned about this organization. I'm very committed to this now. And as an aside, a dear friend of mine who's a pastor in town last month had a stroke in his early 40s. So again, in a blink of an eye, his life changed. Yeah. But with help, he's, he's going to do well. And that's what this organization does. They yeah. support those. Yeah. No question, and uh, I've experienced this organization support firsthand. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of the work, all of the time, all of the volunteering. It's just fabulous, so thank you. I'm here with Lanny Sater and Drew and Kelsey Kittleson. Full disclosure, this is my family right here. And I'm so excited that you are all here because we have a very personal story with brain injury. While we were a supporter of Brain Injury Alliance, for many years, we didn't ever require their services until recently when my brother, our father, your brother, what is my, what is our dad to you? Father-in-law, there you go, uh, suffered a traumatic brain injury. And so we're here tonight on his behalf. He has made a full recovery, thankfully, but we're, uh, we're here uh, tonight on his behalf to really celebrate all of the great work that Brain Injury Alliance has done. Lanny, I call her favorite, favorite. What number Brainiac Bash is this for you? Do you know? This is not number one. No, two. Oh, number two. Okay. And we have number one here tonight. Yes. Uh, Drew, what does it mean for you to be here, especially now that we have somebody in the family who has had real struggles with brain injury? Uh, it's an honor to be here. I appreciate everybody that came out. Uh, favorite for, for uh, inviting Kelsey and I. Um, yeah, it was a traumatic year. Never personally experienced any of that. And uh, it was... It was sad, but I'm very glad that events like this happen so um, we can hopefully improve everybody that experiences uh, that going forward. Yeah, well said. And Kelsey, I'm just so thrilled that you're here. I just love you to death. And you actually, uh, when you guys had your nephew Stone, he had to wear a little helmet too for his brain. And we're here not just for brain injury, any type of brain health. What was like? What was it like as a mother to get here from a doctor? Hey, your kid has to wear this helmet for who knows how long. Um, it was a little scary. You think that you uh, did something wrong. Um, it was really neat though, just technology that they have that can um, help. Uh, improve situations like that. Yeah. 
Uh, Stone's doing great, by the way. He's the best. And favorite, I just got to say, I just, your favorite for the reason. And who are you most excited to see tonight besides me, of course? Carrie Marks. Carrie freaking Marks, of course. We love her. This is the Kittleson family and the Satyrs. I'm here with Letitia Fry. You know, when I moved back to Arizona, I met a lot of people, Letitia, and they said, I said, I want to get involved in the community and the charities. And they said, well, wait until you meet Letitia Fry. And I waited and I waited and then I met her and I got it instantly. You will too. All you have to do is see, hear, or anything with this woman and you will be a fan from day one. Letitia. Did you know that we actually first met sitting at a lunch that oh, we gathered for this charity. Yes. So last year I volunteered my services as an auctioneer because I just heard about it. Yeah. I didn't have these services when I went through this. That's where you and I met was because of this yeah. charity. Yeah, and now these years later, you are being uh, acknowledged and given this award. What does that mean for you tonight? You know, first of all, I'm not comfortable with it at all. I'm one of those people that's really good doing things for other people, not very good at accepting. But I learned a long time ago that the joy I get from giving has to have to somebody else to give to me. So I'm here to accept it. It's very humbling and very honoring. But I also had a chance, um, I volunteered to speak at their conference too. And I met a young woman that was in an ATV accident that was almost my precise, she just reminds me of me eight years ago. So I realized that it's not, even though the award has my name on it, it's not about me. This is about raising the money, raising the awareness, and hopefully a little less tumultuous ride than I had for somebody else that has this organization. Yeah. Well, your story is incredible, and for those who haven't heard it, be ready to get it. It's an inspiring story, to say the least. And now I have a question about the auction, because we, we have a live auction tonight. Okay, Anna Aha is our auctioneer. Awesome. Is that going to be hard for you not to be the auctioneer? No, it's actually fabulous. Oh, and like the funniest it? thing is, this is one of my mentees who volunteered her time nice. to actually be here, but she's going to auction in front of me, her mentor, and 11 of her counterparts. So this is kind of funny, because you know like when you think, is there a doctor in the house? Yeah. Is there an auctioneer in the house? When she goes to auction, I think everyone's going to stand up to try to help her ring, because we're all auctioneers. Oh, so this man. is so fun to watch it. I want to bid. Yeah. I want to bid. Is that not a joke? 11 auctioneers are at an event, and what happens? Yeah, it's like a bad joke. How many auctioneers? Um, yeah. We're all excited to see you. Who are you excited to see? Oh, you know, I kind of had a girl crush on the Bella Twins last year, and Brie is back, and Brie, Brie lent me her dress. Oh, is it this dress? No. Oh. The dress I did for 1 in 10 for the big fresh gala. I, she let me borrow the dress she wore in Oscar de la Renta last year for that gala. Talk about girl power. Yeah. And it's the first time I raised a million dollars in that dress. So I'm really excited to see Brie. The million dollar dress. The first time, but not the last time. Yeah. Letitia Fry, you're incredible. Congratulations. Love you. With me is Angie Hollier and Lindsay James, two of our dancers this evening. Ladies, you're both looking beautiful. Is there any competition here? You guys seem really friendly for people who are about to go compete. No, yeah, no. We want to rock it, both yes. of us. Yes. yes. No, no competition because we are individually perfect, each of us. <laughs> I mean, I probably am not perfect. She is. <laughs> well, I think you both look perfect tonight. I love both what you're wearing. Is this what we're dancing in? No. No. No, no, it is not. Oh, what are we dancing at? Change. Is it a secret? Is it? I don't know. Am I allowed to share it? You can do whatever you want. Okay. If, or just let them be surprised. Uh, I think they, they should be surprised. Okay. Yeah. I think so too. Now, both of you have been to this event in the past. Uh, what does it mean this year to be actually dancing, showing your faces, showing off your moves? Well, it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know how you feel. I was going to say it's it terrifying. means that we weren't but thinking when we said yes. yes that we were is what it means. However, moment, however, but it's a great charity. Yeah. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful charity. charity. I mean, they do brain so health much. is so important. So if our little kicks can help raise money, because Absolutely. we got people here to watch us, our amateurness <laughs> dance, yes, yes. then good for us. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. That is yes. the whole goal. Yeah. Uh, certainly we are here to raise money and awareness. On, as you put it, I love that brain health. I, I, isn't it all just health, yes. brain health, mind health, yes. all of it? Is there anyone specific you'd like to thank who's put in the work for this event? 
Well, Carrie Martz, obviously. Is Kim cool. Rivera. Kim Rivera. Dina. Dina. Dina yes. Oh, your you. mother. And you. you. And me, everybody. It is really fun being here. Everyone's just been so nice. And the energy, people are coming in right now and the energy's building. Will you be nervous when you step on the dance floor or do you think you'll just take it away? No, we'll be like, no, this. I'm, yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah, already yeah. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it will only get worse well, from Only here. when I get on the dance floor? No. But no. I think people will be impressed because the Fred Astaire yeah. coaches, they're amazing. They're amazing. Amazing. They are and miracle workers. They can make anyone dance. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. Well, I can't wait to see you ladies rip it up out there. Do well. We'll all be applauding. And thank, thank you. you for being here tonight. Thank you. Awesome. A tiny little organization called Miss America is in the house. I know, I'm being sarcastic. We have Melody and Tiffany. Thank you, ladies, for being here tonight. Thank you for having us. Now, how did you first learn about Brainiac, Bash, and the Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona? We'll start with you. I learned it through the Miss America organization. We've actually had Miss Americas and previous Miss Arizonas at these events, and it was able to really inspire me about the program. I got to learn more, and now I'm so excited to be involved. Oh, that's fabulous. What about you? I also got introduced from the Miss America organization. My older sister, Isabel, was Miss Arizona 2018. She was at the first gala at the Phoenix Zoo, and now I'm excited to be here and become involved in future events as well. It's fabulous. Well, we need all the help we can get, and certainly your exposure will help us. Now, I asked both of the, uh, this question to you both separately on what advice you have for the participants who are dancing. You guys gave great answers, of course, obviously. <laughs> now, what advice, though, do you have for the judges? Ooh, judges just... Don't be so stressed out, okay? I know it's so stressful, it goes so fast, but trust your gut, you've got this, you're in this role for a reason, make it happen. Yes, anything to add to that? I agree, you know, they picked you to judge for a reason, everybody's gonna be amazing, it's probably gonna be a tough call, but I say go with your gut and what made you smile the most. <laughs> well, I'm so thrilled that you guys can both be here to represent Miss America and our great state. Hello, awesome. Hi, Arizona. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Miss Pat is here. Now, Miss Pat, you didn't bring your fabulous purse with you to this interview. I just saw it over there. But I, I promise you, Miss Pat has the look down from head I to do. toe. I now, do. <laughs> now, who are you here supporting tonight? Letitia Cry. Uh, yes. And when did you meet Letitia? Oh, we've known each other for seven, eight, nine years now. We are very involved in a lot of community projects together, yeah. but specifically tonight because of her brain injury. Yes. What an inspiring story she has. What about Letitia inspires you? Oh gosh, that woman is the real deal. There is nothing not authentic about Letitia. Mm. When she says she's gonna do something, she does it. She fights like nobody you've ever met yeah. for, the, for the underprivileged. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, and we have a fabulous uh, auctioneer tonight. Her name is Anna Aha. But won't it be weird not seeing Letitia do it? Kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah. I got to tell you, it is. I mean, it, an auction is not an auction unless Letitia's there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, people actually ask before they go to an event, is Letitia the au auctioneer? Yeah. And because she's fabulous. Yeah. I, I told Letitia that when I moved back to Phoenix and started getting involved in charities, people said, wait until you meet Letitia. <laughs> Fry. And I kind of thought, okay, you know, I've met people before, but she is out of this world. I think I was one of the first people to hire her. I chaired Child Health back in 2014 and 15, and I heard about how fabulous she was, and so we made it arrangements, and she knocked it out of the park. Yeah. And she has done nothing but go up since then. Of so course. life is good. Well, we're glad that you're here to celebrate Letitia tonight. And we're just glad you're here anyway. Thank so you. thank you, Miss Pat. Such an honor. Thank you. I am here with the Stodders. And we got to start this interview with the shoes. I mean, can we go down to the shoes, please? Brain injury warrior. Excellent. Tell me about the shoes. Well. Um, it's been a, a lengthy um, adventure after the injury, and so I found that I can focus on the sadness, the pain, the frustration that has happened, or I can focus on where am I going, what can I do, and I can sprinkle in just a little bit of humor and have a good time with it the best I can. And she, um, she's had the blessing to uh, you know, spend the last uh, couple of years healing and helping me, but um, as, I, as I push through it, it's been a blessing to be able to have a little bit of humor 
yeah. through some of the, the challenges. Yeah, I, I, I love the message, it's well said. We've had a lot of people coming out here today saying, you know, the thing that really got me through it is the support. That is where you shine. What is it, What advice would you have to other supporters out there? I find that the best thing is to keep hope. Hope is essential. When you're trying to get through something that is so traumatic and so difficult, yeah. you keep the hope. There is much more you can do yeah. when you try and move forward with that. There is also the opportunity for self-care. I don't think we emphasize that enough because it gets tied in with words like selfish and you know we don't have to think that way. We really know that self-care brings that opportunity to reconnect not just with them but with yourself. And it's important to keep on top of that. I tell, uh, I work in mental health and I tell supporters all the time, where's your support? You need support as well. We all need support no matter what. How did you guys first get involved with Brain the Brainiac Bash? Dr. Dara Rampersat, he did um, one of the uh, outreaches. And I, I got to know him before, because uh, I was, uh, I've been in the Army for, for a couple decades, and I was working as a police officer, and then I, I got injured when about, I had about 15 years on. But before that, I was uh, in charge of uh, Archangels, which is a nonprofit that helps military veterans, first responders, and their families. And as, as I was working, he helped out with that. So he was part of my healing. Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona has been part of my healing on a number of different ways, and it's been a blessing. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you both for being here. And again, you win the shoe competition. I'll, I've seen everyone's shoes. You win. <laughs> I know. Awesome. This event does not just happen by itself. There are teams of people to have all of this come together. Randy and Ann are two of those individuals. Thank you guys for all of your help tonight. What is your role here at Brainiac Bash? At Brainiac Bash, we're here as hosts and to help people feel at home and to share kind of what we do in our mission at the Brain Injury Alliance, which is to help people. I work with the veterans uh, with traumatic brain injury. Fabulous. And what about you? Um, I'm here to uh, just help host, and um, uh, I'm with the uh, Adaptive Recreations uh, Coordinator, so uh, just, just here on behalf of that, it's a new program, so just here to represent that. Nice. Now, is this your first Brainiac Bash? Yes. Oh, so we have two Brainiac Bash virgins. Well, you picked a great one uh, to attend. What are you most excited to witness or see? Honestly, just all of it. All of it? Yeah, yeah. it's exciting to get dressed up and be here with everyone and meet people, so it's yeah. exciting. Anything specific for you? Yeah, the dancing. I want to see yeah. the dancing, yeah. yeah. Anyone specific? No, no. No, just all the dancing. Yes. You know, there is something powerful about watching other people dance, and you go, I don't have to do that. That's so nice. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Now, um, everybody has a connection to brain health in some way. Would you guys mind sharing what your connection is? Um, I am a caregiver for my husband, who is a Marine Corps veteran who has a traumatic brain injury. Awesome. So I help other veterans, caregivers, and their families. Awesome. And um, I have uh, three traumatic brain injuries myself. I'm a Marine Corps veteran, so I was injured in combat, so. Are you the husband? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little awkward comment for the family. Um, excellent. We've talked a lot tonight about the support end, what you're really doing for your husband or others. But I want to take a moment to talk about the people who are experiencing the obstacle firsthand. What advice would you have for people who are starting their new journey towards better health? I would say there's going to be a lot of challenges ahead. The road is is long and bumpy, but it does it does smooth out. It does get a little bit better, and you kind of fall into a pattern of like your new normal, you know. So um, we all know what it's like to uh, you know feel normal in our everyday lives and stuff like that. But a brain injury changes that, and then it's about developing what your new normal is. So it will happen, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. So. Really well said, and, and that that sentiment has been expressed a few times tonight, so I, I think that is right, you know. Any final words that you guys, either one of you would like to say? You've worked so hard on this event. No, have fun. Yeah, have a good night, and thanks for the support. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you guys both.